Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to welcome everybody that is watching this program at this moment. Welcome to Illumina, the platform for enlightenment and divine ascension. This night, um, I want to welcome all of you wherever you are watching. I would like to invite you to share the video. Share the video and inform somebody that we are live. And we are coming with a message that will completely change your life and even change the history of this nation. Tonight's program is going to be dealing with very deep and profound issues about the nation Cameroon. You would hear things that you probably may not have known concerning the nation Cameroon and what God is doing behind the scenes. And so I invite you to invite as many people as possible. Share the video to the maximum. Heaven is about to open over your life. Amen. And whatever has been held up by the prince of this nation mm. shall be released today over your life. Yes. And yes. you shall take your place yes. in the nation. You shall take your place on the Amen. continent of Africa. Amen. So I want to invite you to share the video to the maximum. God bless you as you share. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Tonight, I have on the platform with me two servants of the Lord that are joining me, a son and a daughter in the faith. We have uh, Reverend Esther Ebanga on my left. Welcome to the platform tonight. Merci, bonsoir, bonsoir à tous les spectateurs. Hallelujah. And then we have Prophet Wisdom. On my right, a man of God that has been doing some great work behind the scenes in this nation. God bless you, man of God. Welcome. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, everyone. We are so glad to have all of us, everyone that is following this great time. Hallelujah. And I am your humble host, the African prophet, Reverend Dr. Samet Leslie Four. And tonight we'll be examining a few things. It'll be more of an interactive program where we can have questions being asked and then we'll get... Uh, 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 responses as the spirit leads us Amen. so pastor esther we are talking about 2022 and here we are in this year we have been praying for we have been trusting god for and um, what do you have in your spirit about this year uh, this year is a year that me oui euh, tu as eu à prêcher au sujet de 2022. Tu as eu à donner des prophéties au sujet de 2022. Tu as eu à parler de 2022. Tu as eu à parler du changement de paradigme. Tu as eu à parler de, 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 des enfants de Dieu qui doivent se lever. Et nous voici en 2022. Et moi, je me pose cette question. Pourquoi 2022? Pourquoi est-ce que 2022 est tellement stratégique pour les enfants de Dieu et pour le Cameroun? Wow, that's a very profound, interesting question. Um, why is 2022 very strategic for Cameroon? And why is it the appointed time? Because God told us that this year is the appointed time. And there's a reason for that prophetic word coming at this time. That for Cameroon, it is the appointed time. And to understand the prophetic agenda of God for 2022... You must zoom in on the number 40. Mm. The number 40 is the key to explain why God calls this year the appointed time for Cameroon. If anybody, wherever you are watching, if you want to understand God's agenda for the nation Cameroon in the year 2022, you must zoom in to the number 40. In the realm of the spirit, numbers are higher than letters. In the realm of the spirit numbers have significance mm. which must be paid attention to in order to interpret the move of the spirit and the move of god god is a god of precision in the building of the ark he gave him exact precision about the the cubits the centimeters and the meters the dimensions even the temple so why is 40 very strategic i'm going to say a couple of things here uh, to answer the question that Reverend Esther is asking us. Now, why is 40 strategic? It's strategic because it is 
exactly 40 years since His Excellency Paul Bia took over government in Cameroon. That's right. That's right. From the seat of November 1982. Okay. Yes, yeah. till 2022 yeah. marks 40 years. 40 years exactly. and, and, and now, why are we zooming in on 40? You see, the number 40 by a biblical interpretation by biblical interpretation means a couple of things which I would like to share with us. You see, uh, the Bible talks about the law of first mention. The, la loi de la première mention. Pour dire que la première fois où une chose est mentionnée dans la Bible, ça devient la fondation de la définition de cette chose. You see, the first time something is mentioned in scripture, it becomes a foundation to interpret what that thing stands for. Okay, you see, time. throughout the scripture, the number 40 appears in scripture 146 times. Mm. Mm. And you, you, it is even amazing to know that the Bible was written by 40 inspired men. Maybe. Yes, yeah, 40. Maybe, yeah. Yes, 40 inspired men wrote, wrote the whole Bible. But the first time the number 40, la première fois que le chiffre 40 apparaît dans la Bible, c'est dans Genèse chapitre 7, verset 12. Genèse chapitre 7 et verset 12. Okay. Yes, can you read it? Genesis chapter 7, verse 12. It says, And rain fell on the earth for 40 days and 40 nights. You see? Yeah. Je peux lire en français également? Oui. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ça, c'est la version 8 secondes. Oui. La pluie tomba sur la terre 40 jours et 40 nuits. 40 days and 40 nights. 40 jours et 40 nuits. Now, that was about the flood of Noah. And the flood of Noah symbolized a couple of things. Number one, judgment That's on right. evil, right. on wickedness. Oui. Le jugement sur la méchanceté. Yeah. The people were wicked. They did a lot of evil. Mm. And God said, I, mm. I repent that I made these people. I will wipe them off that, that generation. Mm. Mm. So the flood for 40 days was a symbol of judgment. Right. Number two, it was also a symbol of a new thing. Because after he wiped off that generation, après avoir effacé cette génération, there was a new generation. In Genesis chapter 9, Genesis chapter 9, he told them that he told Noah and his sons, he blessed them. He said, Be fruitful, multiply, replenish, and fill the earth and subdue it. The same thing he told Adam. He's now telling Noah. That means it's a new beginning after the 40 days. Mm. So after the judgment mm -hmm. of the 40, yes. what follows is a new beginning of blessing. A new beginning of blessing. Productivity, all of productivity, that. Productivity, flourishing. And it also number three stands for paradigm shift or generational shift. Number 40. Yes. It also stands for paradigm shift and generational shift. When we look at the judgment part of it, the flood, 40 days. Yeah. When Noah, Jonah went to Nineveh, God sent him to speak to a city, a nation, mm. Mm. that the judgment was coming. Yes. He said, 40 jours, le Seigneur va juger cette nation. Mm. 40 days, God would judge Nineveh. He said, Nineveh shall be overthrown. Because 40 is a number of judgment. Mm. We also see Ezekiel, who was told by God to lay down on his, uh, on his mm. right side. Yeah. For 40 days because of the sins of Judah. Yes, as a symbol that God was going to judge the sins of Judah. Ezekiel chapter 4 and verse 6. You see? So we also have the, the issue of every time when Israel sinned, every time Israel sinned against yeah. God, God would deliver them into the hands of their enemies. Like the Midianites ruled over Israel. For 40 years, then God raised Gideon. Yes. The Philistines ruled over Israel for 40 years. God raised Samson. Mm -hmm. And the period of the judges was 40 years before we had the first king. The judges. Because 40 stands for judgment. Maybe. So the judges judged Israel for 40 years. And in Matthew chapter 24, verse 1, and Mark chapter 13, Jésus prophétisait. Jésus avait prophétisé que Jérusalem sera détruite 
Jerusalem will be destroyed. But Jerusalem was not destroyed until 40 years after the crucifixion. That was uh, uh, no, the first time that Jerusalem was attacked was 30 80. Yes. So it was 40 years after the crucifixion, the judgment came on, 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 on Jerusalem. And then we also have when Abraham was told by God that he would destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. When Abraham began to bargain and to intercede for the deliverance of Sodom, the first proposition was if you find 40 people, will you spare the nation? Because 40 is a number of judgment. And now this is the big one that connects to Cameroon. In Genesis chapter 15, God told Abraham, he says that your descendants will return and possess this land in the fourth generation. Yes, they will possess the land. But they would have to wait because the cup of iniquity of the Amorites is not your fool. When that cup is full, God will bring judgment on the Amorites and then Israel now will be able to possess the land. Because when God judges them, he will dispossess the land of them and then Israel now, in the fourth generation, will possess the land. So you see that it took 40 years for Israel to come to the promised land. That equally means that it took 40 years for the cup. Yes, le coup de niquité devait être rempli afin d'attirer le jugement de Dieu et Dieu va en les ôter de, de, du pays afin que Israël possède le pays. So after 40 years, the cup was full. And when the cup was full, the fourth generation possessed the land. So, I noticed that 2022 this year, they decided to bring the African Nations Cup. Okay. We have an image of um, the, the African Nations Cup that was erected in the Olympic Stadium. And people were dancing around it. We, Lord de la Ceremonie du Vertu. Oui. Oui. That cup was there. When I saw that cup, the Lord spoke to me. It took 40 years for the cup of the Amorites to be full. La, la coupe de iniquité des Amorites. Yes, the cup of the iniquity of the Amorites to be full. Oui, oui. So that God will bring judgment. And after the judgment has come, then Israel now, the fourth generation, will possess the land. The land. When they erected that thing, the ceremony, the opening ceremony at the Lembe Stadium, the Holy Spirit spoke to me. He said, watch, that's the cup. The cup of iniquity of the wickedness of the wicked in the nation of Cameroon is full. Enough of the innocent killing, enough of the assassinations. And we're in 2022. And we're in 2022, which coincides with 40 years from 1982, November 6th. So, November 1982 to 2022 is 40 years and then the cup comes the cup is lifted on the opening ceremony when i saw the cup i knew hey god has said the time for judging the wickedness of the wicked in the nation of cameroon has come all the wicked and corrupt politicians those who have spoiled the nation made it mm. rotten mm. they will come under god's judgment those who have uh, destroyed the lives and yeah, destinies of many Cameroonians. Spoiled the land. Spoiled the land. So, 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 does that mean God, God will be removing them or destroying them? How, how, how is the judgment going to be executed? Is there a specific way by which God will be executing this judgment in the same way it did in the Bible or is there a specific way we will be seeing things happening in the government circles or in the, in the nation? God has different ways that he executes judgment on the nation. Many times in scripture, he will raise another country to dominate the country on which he is bringing judgment. 
Many a times he will send a plague. Some other times he will send a pestilence, a plague of death, a plague of different things. But I believe that in Cameroon, this year, mm. God will begin to remove all those who have made the nation bad. All those who have made the nation bad, whether they are in government or they are out of government. Anyone sponsoring war, mm. anyone behind innocent killings, anyone behind destruction, corruption, uh, vandalization, anyone behind wickedness of any form is coming under the judgment of God. There will be mass removal. There will be mass removal from the Senate, House of Assembly, the Presidency, the government houses, the ministries, everywhere. Et euh, si j'ai bien compris, 40 symbolise le jugement. Good. Là, nous venons de parler du jugement. Mais mm. 40 symbolise également la nouvelle génération. Yes. Mais, mais tu, je me pose une question. Est-ce que la nouvelle génération est vraiment prête? Parce que mm. lorsque le jugement va s'apesantir sur ces personnes qui gèrent mal, qui dirigent mal, quand on yes. va les enlever, il restera en vide. Est-ce que la nouvelle génération donc, sera capable mm. de pouvoir maintenir cette, 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 cette paix et, et ce vide -là que, que, que les autres auront laissé. Hmm. Ça, c'est la question que je, je me pose depuis. Now, the Bible spoke, speak, speaks about the, the fourth generation. Oui, oui. The Bible spoke of the fourth generation oui, possessing oui, the land. Oui, la quatrième génération. And when we look from the times of Papa Obake oui. in this ah. country, Papa Obake, Bishop Eluna, ah, oui. Papa Nestor, Papa Ndale, the prayer dans la foi au Cameroon. Yeah. All those people brought the revival. Yes. After them, we had another generation of Papa Zach Fomum oui. and uh, uh, the, the other fathers, yeah. you know, S.M. Onana, Papa S.M. Onana, Papa Seti Kanga, and the rest. Yeah. Then now we have the generation, the third generation of Papa Bishop Chris, Papa Ondwa, Papa Robert Chambo, Bishop Angela Chamufo. All those father, Bishop Vando Amen. and uh, Bishop Joshua Gogomu, yeah. you know, that generation, the third generation. So now we are in the fourth generation, mm. which is us. Mm. Mm. We are that fourth generation. Mm. So it coincides with the 40 years, the cup of iniquity. And now, pour répondre à la question, est-ce que nous sommes prêts? Ça dépend de l'église. <coughs> Ça dépend de l'église. Parce que les pasteurs doivent changer leur message. Okay. Si nous continuons à prêcher des miracles, des délivrances, des prophéties, mm. et nous n'éduquons pas l'église à s'intéresser aux choses de la nation, à être patriotique, c'est ça? À être patriotique. Yes. À être patriotique, à s'intéresser à la transformation nationale. Oui. Nous ne pouvons pas prendre le pays. Nous ne pouvons pas posséder le pays. So we need to encourage the church people to go into economy, mm. the economic sector, the media, the government, the seven the mountains. Seven mountains of, to, to penetrate. To penetrate it. We need to send our sons to school to mm. learn political science. Mm. Ces personnes, il ne va pas tous les enlever parce qu'il a dit à Israël que je que il ne va pas enlever les Cananéens rapidement, sinon les bêtes des champs viendront les manger parce que ils ne, ils ne se resteraient pas assez nombreux yes. pour pouvoir occuper le pays. Yes. Donc ça vous donne dit que il y a ce que je me dis donc sûrement il y a certains membres, certaines personnes qui de, pour l'instant, ne sont pas, sont, on peut pas dire, ces oui. personnes-là qui créent le, le, oui. le, le, les troubles. Oui. Certaines personnes, Dieu va les laisser là pour un temps. Yes. Pendant que les, les, le peuple élu, ceux qui sont là pour apporter le changement, puissent à, accéder à un certain niveau. Exactly. That is what God has been doing in Cameroon. Okay, mm. je comprends. He has allowed certain people in certain positions oui, oui. because the remnant of the church oui, oui. are not ready to oui, oui. occupy those positions. Right. But I think that now, within the body of Christ, God has people. Hallelujah. God has people Hallelujah. that He has trained at the backside mm. of the desert mm. because it's enough, enough of the wickedness, right. Right. enough of the corruption. You can't have a position in the government. You can't have a post of responsibility, except you know somebody who knows somebody. 
or you belong to a particular circle of people mm. so all these things that people are sitting on the heads of others mm. god said it's enough oh. this is the 40th year Hallelujah. and judgment Hallelujah. is at the door and like never before, sir, we are, we are seeing the, 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 I mean, abundant messages of the kingdom. Christians have been sensitized on matters of penetration. Yes, yes. The seven mountains have been discussed in the Church of Cameroon more than yes, ever before. Yes. We have heard too many times taught, I mean, amazing revelations yes. concerning the seven mountains, yes. the unshakable kingdoms. Yes. All of that have been going viral in recent yes. times, especially in Cameroon. Many Christians have become more and more conscious of government matters, rulership. That kingship, is what, that, that is, that is what so God is that, doing. That's what God is doing. It's time. When Elijah was 40 days and 40 nights on the Mount of Horeb, God sent him to go back and raise Elisha. Really? It was after that 40 days period that God raised Elisha and also raised a new king. You see? So I believe that the new generation is getting ready to possess the land. Prophet Wilson, my friend, parlait de vient de parler de des sept montagnes. Maintenant, je comprends parce que depuis près de depuis 2018-2019, euh, prophète africain, vous vous faites en sorte que beaucoup de jeunes à l'église entrent euh, créent des ONG. Mm. Nous avons plusieurs jeunes à l'église qui ont créé des ONG. Mm. Nous avons plusieurs jeunes à l'église qui ont même laissé l'école et vous leur avez demandé de retourner dans les bancs. Nous avons certains jeunes qui à qui, qui on a de, on, on a essayé de motiver pour qu'ils entrent à l'ENAM. Yes. C'est pour préparer yes. la nouvelle yes. génération. Yes. Donc c'est donc c'est pour que lorsque le moment viendra que la nouvelle génération que, que le, le, les postes ne soient pas vides, yes. mais que le peuple choisi de Dieu soit capable d'occuper les postes qui seront laissés par ces personnes là yes. que Dieu aura enlevé. Yes. Mais là maintenant c'est vous vous le faites mais plusieurs parmi that is why we are coming out with this program to tell the people what God is doing and to prepare the church wherever you are watching us want to pray for you right now that you will be relevant in God's agenda for 2022 as God's judgment comes upon the wickedness of the wicked and removes from the way the thorns and the thistles that you will be positioned and that you will be ready to take your place, Amen. to take your throne, Amen. to take your responsibility Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. We stretch our hands towards you wherever you are and we are decreeing over your life the end of the wickedness of the wicked against your destiny. Amen. Whatever cage the enemy has put you in, whatever cage they has put your career, Amen. whatever cage he has put your destiny, we command by the wind of the spirit be loose in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let every chain be broken. Amen. Let every gate be open. Amen. Let every storehouse be open. Amen. Be released in the name of Jesus. Amen. We command the release of your destinies. Yes. The release of your children's destinies. Yes. The release of your star. Yes. From every occult web. Amen. From every occult chain. Amen. From every witchcraft chain. Amen. From every manipulation of satanism. Yes. Of demons. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Be released in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. May the Lord bless you and your family. Amen. May the Lord cause you to excel Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. If you are a pastor, receive a fresh anointing, Hallelujah. a fresh anointing to lead the flow. Growth and expansion Hallelujah. on every side. In Jesus' name of Nazareth. Amen, amen and amen. amen. God bless you. I'm Reverend Dr. Samuel Leslie, the African prophet. I'll see you on the next episode of Illumina. Remain in God's love and light. Shalom. It took exactly 40 years in the wilderness for that cup of the Amorites to be full. That is one of the reasons Israel went around for 40 years. Mount Cameroon is in the southwest. And the Bible says on the 1st of October, it's a strategic date for the southwest and northwest. Every time you see 40, there's going to be a shift of paradise. Things are going to shift, things are going to change. God takes out the old and brings in the new when you see 40. And what God has done before, he can do it again. That is why we know that this year, something must happen to the government of His Excellency Bobia. I've always said it and I'll continue to say it. 
that Cameroon is the spiritual Jerusalem Hallelujah. of Africa. Hallelujah. It is the land of glory, land of promise. Mm.